Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in for Capricorn. This is going to be for your um, uh, March 2024. You can apply this to any of your placements because anything could come up. Uh, we're just going to take a look at your over energies, what's around you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys can expect for March, and then we'll see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Uh, apply this to your own unique situation, okay? Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Capricorn people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on um, when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, uh, the links for those are in the description box below. Uh, support me on there too. Also, if you guys haven't uh, didn't know, I am doing a free giveaway for a free 30-minute personal, personal reading with me on Zoom. So if you guys are interested in that giveaway, check out the details uh, of the giveaway. I did post it in the uh, community tab on my YouTube page. Uh, I will announce the winner on March 8th, all right? So uh, tell me about Capricorn. Uh, energy check-in for Capricorn. Over energies for Capricorn for uh, March 2024. What's surrounding Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? What can Capricorn expect for uh, March? Tell me about Capricorn here. Tell me about Capricorn. Temperance, Sagittarius energy here. The Empress, Libra, Taurus here. Seems like you guys are definitely going through a period of a lot of growth and expansion here. You know, I do feel like you guys are definitely manifesting and attracting at this time here. I do feel like your guys and your angels and your ancestors at this time are really guiding and really protecting you, you know, on the path that you're on here, okay? I do feel like moving forward in March, I do feel like you guys are going to be really, really, really busy, okay? Seems like you guys are going to be juggling multiple things here, okay? Uh, seems like you guys are going to be doing a lot. Uh, some of you guys might even own your own business this year, okay? So we have the Six of Swords here and the Hangman, wow. Seems like you're going through some sort of spiritual awakening or that you're going through some sort of spiritual enlightenment here. You know, I do feel like the path that you are on has been going pretty smoothly here. And I feel like you guys are just open, open to the endless possibilities of learning and growing and expanding here. Okay, so Capricorn, so this is looking really, really, really good. Uh, we have the Eight of Wands here, okay? Things are moving forward pretty quickly for you guys, okay? You know, I do feel like there's a lot of forward movement that, that's happening here. I do feel like you guys are definitely growing and learning and expanding here. So things are going really well. Your guides and your angels and your ancestors are protecting you at this time here with Judgment, Sagittarius Energy, and the Temperance card, Sagittarius Energy here. The uh, Empress here and the Seven of Swords. Interesting. You know, this could be an indication that you're in this energy of really protecting your energies at this time. You know, not letting people take advantage of you, not letting people, you know, uh, sabotage you or anything like that. I just feel like you're kind of like in the self-preservation energy here. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles here, the Two of Pentacles here, and the Queen of Wands. Aries, little Sagittarius Energy. I mean, because of where you are sitting right now, because the, of the energy that you are radiating, I mean, there could be someone close to you that's trying to sabotage you here. I mean, this could be a close friend. This could be a sibling, you know. Uh, this could be a co-worker. Tell me about the Six of Swords here. Why is the Six of Swords here? Whoever this is, I do feel like this is an individual that definitely has really bad intentions here towards you. You know, with the Six of Swords here and the Three of Wands, I mean, for the month of March, some of you guys could be traveling, perhaps going on spring break here. You know, some of you guys could be completely changing your lifestyle here. You know, perhaps you guys are more focused on health. Yeah, some of you guys are focusing on exercising here. Some of you guys are focused on eating better, okay? You know, some of you guys could be, you know, going from like a vegetarian or to a vegan or, you know, eating meat to a vegetarian or something like that. But there's definitely a huge shift in someone's lifestyle here too. The way that they eat, you know, regarding their health here. Tell me the eight of wands here, the, 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 um, The Strength card, Leo Energy here, and the Three of Swords and the Eight of Wands here. 
I mean, there could be an indication that you've gone through some sort of health situation here and I feel like you are overcoming it. And, you know, I feel like it's one of maybe one of those like respiratory illnesses that's going around, you know, but I, I, I feel like some of you guys might have had COVID or something like that. Um, I might have it right now, but I don't have a test to test to see, but I feel like it is uh, because I had it four times. Okay. So uh, yeah, um, let's see. What else do we have here? What else do we have here for um, Capricorn? What else does Capricorn need to know, look out for, work on here uh, for March 2024 for Capricorn, for Capricorn? Ace of Swords here and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so what we have here is I feel like you are definitely really clear and, you know, about the path that you're on. And you feel like you're feeling very victorious here. You know, I just feel like you're in this energy of just not really wasting any, a lot, like wasting a lot of time. I just feel like you're in this energy of doing here, you know, and just really making things happen at this time. Uh, what else do we have here for Capricorn? We have the Queen of Cups here and the Page of Cups, both Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. And then we have the King of Wands here, Aries, Little Sagittarius energy, and the Seven of Wands here. Okay, you could be receiving an apology from somebody here. Okay, someone here that might have broken your heart. Yeah, but I feel like this is, I feel like you've gone through so much spiritual growth and personal growth here. And I, a lot of you guys might, might not giving, might not be giving this a lot of attention at this time. I just feel like at this time, Capricorn, you're just really just tending to your own garden here. And I feel like you're just not worried about anybody else. You know, I do feel like it's important for, for, uh, from time to time to be selfish, you know, healthy selfish, you know, not selfish when you're running around like hurting people. You know what I mean? So, you know, I do feel like, you know, uh, for you guys, you know, I do feel like things are going really, really, really well. Okay, uh, I do feel like there's someone here that could be coming with an apology to, uh, that, have, that has hurt you here. But I feel like, like I said, you're just tending your own garden. You're focusing on your goals here. You're focusing on you here, and I feel like you're not gonna let anyone disrupt the flow that you are on here. Okay, tell me about the Ace of, uh, Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Ace of Swords here and the Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about the. Um, some of the pentacles and the high priestess here. Cancer, Pisces energy here. Yeah, you guys are really, I'm not surprised. You guys are just really focused on your pentacles here and just really keeping to yourself. Uh, you know that this is the right thing to do. You are trusting your intuition at this time. You are being guided by your intuition and, and your inner voice, your inner truth here. And also by your guys and your angels and your ancestors here too, because they're coming in very, 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 very strongly here. I do feel like many of you guys have a lot of guides, a lot of ancestors here that's uh, sort of like supporting you on this journey here. And I do feel like a lot of you guys uh, might have like, uh, some of you guys might have like native of American heritage here, or just native uh, heritage, okay? Um, let's see, we have the um, chariot cancer energy, okay, and the queen of cups, and then we have the eight of swords here, and the uh, page of cups here. Uh, yeah, I do feel like there's someone here uh, that is coming back around that hasn't been able to move on from you here. Um, I do feel like it's someone from the past that broke your heart where I feel like, you know, this person might have acted very inappropriately uh, or that this person lacks some sort of self-control and broke your heart. And I feel like you might have moved away from the situation here because of that. Okay. Uh, we have the uh, king of wands here and the full card aries energy aquarius energy here and the sun of pentacles why is the sun of pentacles here the sun of pentacles and the king of swords here someone here is definitely coming back around looking to chat with you but what yeah I, here's the thing with the full card here yeah i just feel like you're just tending to your own garden here you're just moving on a straight path forward and you're, you're not looking back here. I just feel like you're not wasting any more time in the past here. And I just feel like you're focusing on moving forward because like I said, you're sitting in this Empress energy here and I feel like you've gone through a, or, or is going through a lot of growth and expansion in your life at this time. Spiritual growth, personal growth, lessons being learned here, healing work that's being done here. So I feel like a lot of you guys at this time here, Capricorn, I feel like you guys are doing amazing here. Uh, you know, except for this person that's coming back around because I feel like this is uh, someone that you dealt with that was very unpleasant here. Okay, so Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.